Sharon, get him back with you. Come on, kid. Sharon! I can't get him! Yeah, get hold of him! Oh, is that going on video? <laughs> no, what are you controlling for? <laughs> Keep it, is he on the lead? Obviously not. Oh, it's got me going. It's got me going. Can't see I've done. Oh, thank you. Tracy's driving. I was calm. <laughs> yeah, you're calm. You can be calm and in a ditch. Yeah, but I'm going to have it if I got irate like you did. No, I was taking control. Because I would have been going, ah! ah! I was taking control. I, I, I stopped the situation from escalating. No, you didn't. I stopped it because I pulled over. Who pulled, uh, who pulled him off you? Yeah, but I was pulling over to remove him. Anyway. You'll see a fence in a minute, so it's not oh, slow. Carry on, keep going, you're all right. Stop this turn in the next turn, you're right here where that fence is. No, further up. Here. Here, here. Now, now, now. Where I was saying, Tracy. Do you know, it's causing situations, this one. Oh, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the few. Right, though. anyway. We're, we're at Scruffs. And this is where Barney Take gets his hair in. cut. Go on, I'll let you get out, Sharon. Here she goes, look. Now she's not here, Tracy. Oh, look, you can see Tracy, yeah, now yeah, she's yeah. not here, it was her fault, wasn't it? No! Go on. No! It was her fault, wasn't it? it onto you. Yeah. Look on the outside again. Just these two little bits up there. And then, as I say, we can go around then and uh, feather, uh, batten all these overhangs uh, down. So, yeah, we're doing quite well. you in a second when we find him. Jimmy and Christopher are now here from America. Here we go, look, we wait for an hour, look. Come to mummy. The two travellers. <laughs> Come here boy. <laughs> Come here my son. Are you sure you're cool? Hey. All right, Chris. Oh, terrible. Well done mate. Thanks for looking after him. Hey? Thanks for looking we after him. The best holiday ever with anyone. Yes. Yeah. I've had a sleep on the plane. Not on top of it, in it. <coughs> Candy floss is my new best thing, and churros. What's churros? No, cinnamon stick. Churros. churros. You say that as if we should know. <laughs> it's a cinnamon stick. Well, like a donut. In a stick, yes. though. It's a popsicle, like isn't it? They call them popsicles, don't they? Uh, like that cinnamon stick. What was, what was I saying? Do you not keep putting me off? Yeah. Anyway, when she come in, she normally comes in, and she goes on the computer, and she does all her work and all that. Or she does t-shirts or whatever. Well, she was just about to print the T-shirt off, and I see that she had a DVD which she'd wrapped up in that in, in the bag and ready to go off, and it had a label on the front. And I said, "Oh, because we sell, so we sell a few different types of DVDs." And uh, she said, uh, "I said to her, oh, by the way, I said uh, you'll be wrapping up a uh, a T-shirt printing DVD." I said um, for a, a chap called Mark. And she's sitting where she is there now, and this DVD is on the table, and she said, "Well, I've got to do a T-shirt." I said, yeah, and I said, because I saw the, I said, you've got a DVD there. So I'm just letting you know that the DVD coming in, the T-shirt DVD, was for a bloke called Mark. Mark W, I can't remember his second name. And I just happened to glance over and look at the package that she had on the table there, this wrapped up DVD, and on the front of it, I see the name Mark W something. And I said, what's that DVD there? And she said, oh, uh, mo motorbike DVD. And she said, uh, I said, well, you better check that. I says, because I'm sure that bloke is a T-shirt printing DVD. No, it isn't. No, anyway. So I've looked, as I'm looking on the computer, she's sitting there opening it. And I'm saying, reading the email on my screen, saying, hey, T-shirt printing you DVD. T-shirt, you can have your shout in a minute. No, anyway. I'm not going to. No, yeah. no. T-shirt printing DVD. And as I turn around, she's opened it up. And because she said that she put a blink motorcycle DVD in there. Interfering Listen. with me. And as she's opened it up, she went, oh, you're right. And as she pulled it out, she says, this ain't a mug printing DVD, she You're said. She said, it's a, she said, it's a t-shirt DVD. I said, well, that's what I said. She said, you said mug DVD. I said, no. 
I said, oh, I told you about this. I said, and then you said it was a T-shirt, a, 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 a motorcycle DVD, which is why I questioned it. You opened it up, and I said, I said, it was a T-shirt printing DVD. That was the whole reason why that I said to you in the first... Anyway, this went backwards and forwards, and then she, she said to me, you said it was a mug printing DVD. Now, as I got a bit older, I start to doubt what I say sometimes. And I was so... Con I knew what I said, and I know that's the reason why I said it. And then she says to me, you said it was a mug printing DVD. She said, oh, she said look, it's a t-shirt printing DVD. I said, I wouldn't have... Anyway, cut a long story short. She's she's nearly convinced me. Anyway, in the end of that, I've sacked her. Yeah, how happy am I? I've, I've, listen to this, I've sacked her. I, yeah. said, I said, you're fired. Good. She laughed. <laughs> I'm so she, happy. She laughed, and then she went like that. Now, what's that all about? I'm happy. So we sat here for a bit, and then she went over and pressed the t-shirt, and I'm sitting here like this. And I'm swinging about in a chair and I'm looking at her. And I said, we don't know who's right now, do we? The older we've got, the more we forget stuff. We come back and when we lock, like for example, when we go out and lock the doors, by the time we've walked from the front door to the car outside, I've said to her, have you locked the door? She said, well, I thought you'd done it. And we've had, we have to walk back, we forget, oh, what's that all about? Like but anyway, nerves, so, What's that all about? so she's standing there printing this t-shirt. Even though I've been sacked. No, no, hold on, hold on. And I'm happy. I said, you made me doubt myself. I said, I don't know whether I did say what I was supposed to have said to you, which I thought I said. I said, because you've got this way of making me think that I haven't done what I've said I was going to do. No, that's wrong, isn't it? See, I'm doing it again, look. Right, we've just put the hot spot tape over the top. So we're going to go and get the sheet now and sling it over and start fixing it. Here's what I've been doing, Look, let me just show you. Now, I've actually got this fence and I've put it up yesterday. Something was nicking the peas. So I've got a feeling that we've been having mice in here and that's why Barney keeps going over to that area because I reckon they're probably under there. They've come in through the back of the um, uh, wood there where the, uh, the ground sheet is raised. And I think that's what's been happening because he's always searching around the back. So I think we've had mouse, mice. We're just trying to get the escort running. What are you doing to this gal? What are you doing at the moment? We're just going to get the bumpers on the... I don't know. Back on the escort. Oh, I thought it was going to We're just going to jump start the um, escort, get it going. So it's just going to move it a little bit. and polishing so look let's just show you how it's turned out right well I don't know if you can let's try and get you uh, around the car as you can see there it's it's not too bad a finish um, here's the roof we've got a nice finish on the roof as well a couple of little bits of dust in but don't forget when you sand these out and buff this up this this will be like a, a glass mirror finish so that's just moving around the car now, around to the back. As you can see, all the um, back wings are... Can I get the gloss? I'm trying to get the gloss for you out of this little camera. I'm not too sure. It's a little GoPro camera, whether you can see it or not. This is out of the um, spray gun, as I say, so... There's a real nice deep gloss on there as well. Let's go around to the other side. Again, a little fly in there. I'm not too worried about that because once you cut that back with a little bit of... Um, 1500 or 2000 sandpaper, everything goes away. There we go, might be able to get a bit more of the gloss there. 
and as you can see the way the chip guard actually finished and covered very very well so I'm well pleased with that and um, we've put on the brand new windscreen wipers we've got brand new stainless steel arms at the end of the day we didn't mess about with them and also the little uh, washer jets as well but as you can see <clears throat> it hasn't buffed all the car up yet but I'm sure you'll see that um, she's got a lovely shine on the one that he has buffed up can you see that how, ni how nice that, that is there there we go look, all the way along there look very very nice indeed so hopefully when all the cars finished it will all be buffed up to that standard so it's just got to do certain cutting back and uh, stuff so all right well gary's just getting uh some final trim done on the escort now right what we got here what's going on gary putting the bumper trim on right this is the self-adhesive is it we've got yeah, double-sided double tape this goes on we see putting the tape on first and you're obviously going to spray that trim black aren't you well we've cleaned it up and it's come up all right well you just put some um wire brush what are you done it with uh, we've cleared it up with some um, cleaning fluids. Oh right, and it's come up all right. It's come up all right. Because yeah. to buy that trim is actually quite dear, isn't it? Uh, 37 quid, I think. 37 quid for that bit of trim there, see? So, so what, what's actually, what have you got to do now? What's left to do? Uh, it's MOT, getting MOT on Saturday. So, so that's Saturday, uh, next Saturday, that's a week today, yeah? Week, week yesterday. Week yesterday, so he's uh, going on holiday, so he's just going to prepare in the car now for uh, the MOT. It's not really much we got, I think we've got to do to it, is there? Just a couple of bolts to change. Um, that's about it, I think, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Now, bearing in mind these are only small Samaritans, if you're doing it the central route, you lot, you can just have a row of uh, stuff down the middle, which is, again is adequate as well. So, I may put a, just a drop more, just a little drizzle, just to keep the uh, moisture up in the wrap. And basically, I'm ready to roll, so to speak. Now, when you roll these up, the way I tend to do it, some people fold the ends over and then they fold the sides in. I don't personally do that because I find that you're left with a lot of uh, wrap at the bottom of the tortilla and I don't really like that. I prefer to do it the way I've just showed you and then I roll it up and then I fold the end of that double-sided, uh, double thickness of uh, silver foil up and that holds everything in. So what we're basically doing is creating a container within the actual wrap itself. So, and that is one tasty snack. And all you basically do then is just bring the sides down as you eat it, as I'm doing here. This way you don't spill anything out. And let's have a little go, shall we? I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Hoo, 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 hoo. Just shows you, doesn't it? Is the choke out still? Okay, warm. Right. The timing marks are lining up, but we've got to warm the car up to do the timing properly. So we wait till the fan kicks in, which we've already had earlier on when we had the problems. So basically, we had a situation where we couldn't get the time, although the car was running lovely. We couldn't get the timing marks to line up to do the timing with the strobe light because we'd had one belt, one tooth out on the actual cam, uh, the, the crank shaft. Now, what's it called? Cam belt. On the cam belt. So we've corrected that by lucky enough, without having to take the bottom pulley off. By the way, I mentioned we then reset the distributor up again, and everything's now fine. So now to do the final bit of chunk tuning, we're just going to warm it up and then do it with the vacuum vance disconnected, 800 revs, five degrees timing. So that's what we're gonna do now. Can I get me a little saucer, please? Is that the smallest spoon you can find? That's in your mouth. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, let's just uh, put a little bit on a plate. Do you want me to put some on a plate? No, that'd be all right, look. Like that one. Okay. Right, put the lid on that. Look at that, she's even got a big Mexican bowl, look. That's not a Mexican bowl, it's a fruit bowl. It's a fruit bowl. Oh, fruit design, fruit it's not design. Mexican, right, is it? Right, okay. 
Well, here we go. I don't know what it is, but when I eat Mexican food, I feel Mexican. Let's have a go. This is the bit I love. Oh, 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 Sharon! It's so good. This made me feel Mexican. Oh, it's like Mexican food. It's like Mexican food. I can't believe it. Oh, Sharon, that is excellent. I don't know what you've done to that, but you've turned a meagre ingredients which is a peasant's dish into a fantastic feast for Guy Fox night I can't believe it and don't forget I love you <laughs> bye for, no, come here come here quick now come here quick there you go put it on I'm so wet <laughs> got here oh, oh. <laughs> I got a bit of food on it <laughs> I found that in the plug hole I don't know where it's come from you people with moustaches, I don't know how you do it. Oh, where's that come from? That should hopefully give me some clearance. I'm going to push away, you see. If I push the bike away. No, that's not working, is it? Put it back on the side. Set sense then. <laughs> so all I've got to do now is undo this big bolt here then the engine's going to literally drop out the bike and I can lower the actual bike to the floor. So there's our first practice. I've never done this before professionally. You saw my last attempt, those of you who are subscribers to my channel, where I tried it with an aerosol spray in a little container in the bathroom, and me and Sharon tried that and we bucketed it up. That was for Jimmy's dashboard. This seems to work absolutely lovely. I don't know if you can see the quality of that. Absolutely fantastic. You've got to be pleased with that. So all I've got to do now is set the tank up properly. This is just a trial run and we're going to be in business. Now this actual Christmas tree which you can see here, which has obviously grown and grown and grown, we planted that tree which was probably about up to there. Oh Sharon's here, she'll tell us, look. When did we plant this tree, that, that tree? Is that for me? Yeah. Uh... Oh, oh, hot. Hold it, hold it. Give me the handle. I'm sorry about myself. The other one, I'm left handed. No, uh... you don't burn yourself. <laughs> When did we plant that tree? It'd be when we moved here, 2000. We took into Steve. Right, well, it's Christmas. 2014 now, so that was 14 years ago. It was ago. in a little pot, wasn't it, like that? Yeah, it was only that about big. that big. We planted it over there, and for the, for years and years, it didn't actually grow, did it? No. And it's only over the last sort of six years that it's really taken off. Oh, she's that's found a branch. Look, there is one branch there. Look, <laughs> she's on it now. Where is it? Look, look, she's brushing. Look, that's what she does. Look, she scratches her back on it. Look. But we always used to see the tree moving from when we was inside and we used to sort of look out of them windows there and see the tree shaking backwards and forwards not realizing that underneath it was duchess scratching her back look very nice indeed darling. me and you teamwork we've done this together and we'll feature we've used our recipe on our cooking channel of bubble and squeak how about that for tomorrow oh well Everyone's gone home now. Father Christmas has been. And it's just me, Sharon, Jimmy, and the two dogs. Barney? 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 Is that a Christmas dude? Look at him, he's knackered, look. <laughs> look. Ooh, hey? Oh, baby dog. We hope all our friends and family, our Facebook, and also our YouTube friends, a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and I hope you all got what you wanted and let's move forward next year and have a lovely time. Thank you my wife. Bye everybody. Bye bye. Oh, salty. 
See you later. Bye then. <laughs>improvement stay there just anything and everything's in the way oh that's true stay there what we've had to do as a temporary measure as you can see is just wedge things up I had to take that center support rail down because that was the thing that was actually stopping us uh, lifting these beams up because they was all tied together with that central beam that was broken so what we're gonna do now is leave it as it is and we'll see you again in the next video probably in the new year so thanks very much for watching and bye for now have a happy new year all of you thanks very much bye